Call it. And what else? Three names, guys. Cut. The call it tablet. Yeah, you have three names, guys. Remember that. They call it, they call it cup, uh, pocket, tablet. See what I'm saying? And here is the cam. Here is the cam, cam loop right there. And as you can see, number three is the shim. Okay. So that design, what's, what's called that design? Under bucket. Under bucket. Yes, under bucket shim. And that design, remember, you need to remove the camshaft to reach the, the shim. You have to remove the camshaft. There is no way to, to get the bucket out and the cam is still there. So if you have one of those uh, new bikes and you get valve adjustment and the price is 500, because you have to remove the cam, which means a lot of work. I mean, not a lot of work, but just, uh, if you know what you're doing, it's not a lot of work. Uh, to remove the camera, remember, you have to loosen the tensioner, you have to loosen the timing chain. A lot of work involved. And when you put it, anybody have a question? Otherwise, mute yourself. Quick one, you saw this picture, you would actually measure the bucket and the load in this position. You don't want the top part of the cam down on the bucket. You're right. So the so the lobe has to be away from the bucket. The lobe has to be away because you wanna you wanna go to the maximum clearance right here. If this cam is down, that's why you have to do it and the piston at uh, TDC. You have to do it at piston at TDC. And remember, uh, if you have four cylinders, only one only one piston at TDC. Right? Only one person at TBC. So they're all staggered on a four cylinder, not two up, two down. So you have two up and two down, you're right. But the two up, one under exhaust and one under compression. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so so how can you measure the one under under exhaust? You cannot measure it because the, the, the loop is gonna be down hitting the hitting the the car. So you have you have to be sure when you measure that clearance is piston under compression stroke. Usually on these bucket types, don't they have covers on them? Mr. Mustafa, you pull them off, you can actually see in there and see what the cam is doing, or as a rule, you have to pull uh, the covers off to get to those those shims. Oh. Oh, the, Let's see. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, Ernie, Ernie, do you hear me, Ernie? Ernie, yes, sir. I'm can here. You, can, you, can you mute yourself, Ernie? Can I do what? Ernie, can you mute yourself? Can I mute myself? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Always let us ask the question and mute and unmute yourself, please. Because I'm using a headphone, guys, so, so the noise is very loud. So uh, to answer your question, Ernie, so there's a plastic cover that you have to remove to see to do the measurements. There's a plastic cover under the under the bulb cover. There's a plastic cover as well. That was a question. Ernie, can you, can you mute yourself and sorry, unmute yourself and give me a question? No, I didn't have a question. I'm sorry. I, I just started to say um, mute myself. Uh, no, because you uh, I look at your at your mic and was was on the slide. Okay, I'm sorry. Your fault. Uh, Emil, do you have a question for me? Well, that was it. I just said that we have to take all, co all the covers off to get to this, either it's under bucket or above bucket to do the adjustment. And you can see the cam while you're in there. You don't have to guess where 
there. So you just see if the lobe's on top of the valve or it's not and adjust it, right? When you have to take the valve cover off. Right. How can you do adjustment? You have to get the valve cover off. Uh, so the valve cover is covering the all the valve strain, so you have to get the valve cover off. You need a new valve cover gasket every time. Exactly. So you are a dealership, you have to put uh, everything uh, right like, by the book. And you cannot uh, reuse that gasket again. Otherwise, uh, oil, will be oil will develop. So you got to be sure, uh, as you do when you do bulk adjustment, that uh, bulk cover is available. Sometimes at the dealership, again, bulk cover is not expensive, but sometimes uh, if you don't have the bulk cover, then you have to order it and wait for next day to get that part. And norm normally, you have to do it before 3 o'clock because that's where we place the order for the uh, next day uh, shipping. So you're, when you're working in a shop, you have, you're working on several bikes and you, and you open, them, open them up and you, you, so you just put the bike to the side and wait for the parts to come in and you work on another one, kind of rotate them through? Yeah, you, you can do that. Uh, you got to you got to schedule all these bikes. You may work on a few, few bikes at the same time. Uh, remember, you may work by commission or you may work hourly. Uh, most of them work by commission. Uh, so if you work for, for a dealership, you work, you collect the hours. So you gotta collect how many hours for that the job. Uh, if you work on private uh, shop, probably I work by commission, like 50%, 40% of the job. Uh, some 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 uh, technicians are making money.